One quintessential feature of any network attached storage device is the ability to access your personally stored data remotely wherever you go. With QNAP, there are two ways to accomplish this using our MyQNAP Cloud feature. One is by using the QNAP DDNS, and the other is by using MyQNAP Cloud Link. In the first method, you use MyQNAP Cloud's DDNS to create a domain name for your QNAP device and forward a port on your NAT router to allow network traffic to your NAS. And there are two approaches to this first method. One that has often been used in the past has been to simply forward ports on your router to gain access to the NAS behind the router. However, this approach greatly increases security vulnerabilities. And with ransomware threats continually growing over recent years, cybersecurity is of the utmost importance. However, there are certain features that require this method, such as FTP service. So in the event that you need to use this method, in order to maintain better security, instead of using port forwarding for these services, you should set up the NAS as a VPN server. In this case, the traffic going through the port that is opened will be encrypted and much more secure. A great alternative to port forwarding and the method we are covering in this tutorial is to utilize QNAP's MyQNAP Cloud Link feature, which securely connects clients to their QNAP devices over a peer-to-peer -peer connection, facilitating remote access to the NAS without port forwarding. If a peer-to-peer -peer connection is unable to be made, the data will pass through QNAP relay servers under encryption to maintain privacy of user data. To create a MyQNAP Cloud account, Click the main menu and select My QNAP Cloud from the drop down menu. Next, you'll need to create a QNAP ID. Fill in the various required fields and sign up. At this point, an activation email will be sent to the email address you provided. Open the email and activate the QNAP ID to complete the sign up process. Now that we have the QNAP ID created, we can sign in to begin the process of adding the NAS to the account we just made. So enter your account credentials and click the sign in button. Next, you will name the NAS you are adding to the My QNAP Cloud account. You'll also have an option here to add this NAS to an organization if you want to give an organization administrator management access to this device. Next, decide if you want to use My QNAP Cloud Link DDNS, or both. We are going to select MyQNAP Cloud Link, which will provide us with the ability to access the NAS remotely without opening any ports. When you select MyQNAP Cloud Link, you will also need to choose your access control. This determines who can access the login page of the NAS. If you set it to private, this means you will need to first sign into your MyQNAP Cloud account with your ID, and only your specific QNAP ID has access to use the smart URL to connect. If you set it to public, then anyone can click the MyQNAP Cloud Link smart URL to access your NAS login screen. And if you select customized, then you will need to log into your MyQNAP Cloud account with your ID first, similar with the private setting, but you will also be able to designate access for other MyQNAP Cloud accounts in addition to your own. And you can enable DDNS as well in case you want to set up VPN access to the NAS later. Make your selections and click apply. Now, your NAS will be added to your MyQNAP Cloud account and be available to access using the MyQNAP Cloud Smart Link. To access the NAS remotely using a computer, simply input the smart URL into your browser's address bar. If you configured public access, then this will take you to the NAS login. If you configured private or customized access, this will take you to a page with a link to sign into your QNAP ID, which will then bring you to the NAS login. If accessing the NAS over a mobile device, you can use one of QNAP's mobile apps. In this case, we'll use the file management app, QFile Pro. Open QFile and choose Login with QNAP ID. This will bring you to a sign-in page for your QNAP account. Fill in your email address used for your QNAP ID, input your QNAP ID password, and click sign in.
Now, all of the NAS units associated with your QNAP ID will be added. Now back at the login screen, you can sign in with the MyQNAP Cloud NAS name as well as your NAS login credentials. From here, you can access the folders and files on the NAS. MyQNAP Cloud Link is a great option to access your NAS remotely for those seeking a secure method that is simple and easy to deploy. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS.